Hi folks, Jason and Nick here on the other farm. We're actually on the trial property today. We've actually brought the girls back in. Like I mentioned in previous video, my normal crew, which are these girls here, have uh, been out to the bull and we had them serviced. And now uh, we finally had the opportunity to get them back in. The grass is over a meter high, but what I want to show you this video, guys, is going to be conditioning of these animals. Before we left, all these animals had massive guts. Because I were through here cell grazing, for the last few months their gut was massive now we've noticed since we brought them back in that the gut capacity or the sorry the capacity is the same the gut size isn't as big and round meaning because they're out the other farm continual grazing they were walking for their forage and believe you me the grass isn't anywhere like this it's only like two or three inches high we've had a lot of rain so probably four inches but they're walking kilometers and kilometers a day just to forage for the grass now, this area here would have to be, oh, I reckon maybe 30 meters by about 15 meters, which converts back to about 90 foot by about oh, 45 foot. So they're not, they're not having to forage here for their food. The food is right there in front of them. So you're really saving that energy for the animals not having to walk for their food. So what energy they're putting on from the pasture is going straight on weight which is money guys. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll do a bit of a, I'll walk around each of these cows now and I'll show you the size of their bellies and have a look at the triangles up around their back. And then I'll do a video once they've gone through the cell for, a, for about a month, a month and a half. So that's probably half the time that they've been out there continuously grazing, out there for, for 60 days. So yeah, okay, Rainy, I'll start with you. So let's have a look at her gut not hanging down if we go to the side of her it's not really sticking out there's a couple of little triangles there on the side hey rainy on the other side there just about just below a loin it's a bit hollow so we'll just in front of a hind quarters there too you reckon hey you hungry so we'll go to another one we'll worry about the little calves go to look at min flies are still pretty bad it's starting to cool off now so hopefully they'll uh, be gone so look down the side of her the inner side of her you definitely see the back up there just below that loin and the short ribs see that triangle you can also see your hook bone sticking out there hook bone or, or hip bone it's called so she's uh yeah she's definitely lost a lot of weight she's hollow through that section through the short ribs down the back you see that in that shaded area the gut's not sticking out at all And this little fella here, this is a little steer. We're going to uh, put in the freezer next. Check out his. Check out him right there. Look at that hollowness there. Right below the short ribs, nothing. When he left this property, he was like a balloon. His belly was just massive. So continual grazing when they have to forage for their food and walk kilometers a day definitely isn't beneficial for the producer. They're, they're losing condition, guys. And like I said, there wasn't much pasture. As you can see on this side, guys, that little triangle up there. Yeah, his gut capacity. Have a look from behind. See if I can't get a shot from behind. There's no gut there at all. So like I said, when they left here, he was like a balloon. They all were, actually. The gut capacity was just really, really good. The capacity was, sorry, the capacity is the same, but the size. So what I'll do, guys, is I'll do a video in a month and a half from now. And we'll have a look what they look like then. So we just moved him there yesterday. So that's their first movement from up there. I'll do a video on that. And I know for a fact that they haven't had much forage because last night we had them in the area up there. I went through and counted their, their poos and there was a dozen. So that means there's only like two amongst them. Normally when we're down here and they're cell grazing through this paddock, Normally I can walk through in movements and it is absolutely loaded with poos, you know, there be more than 15 to 20 poos. So, you know, they're doing like three today because all they're doing is eating, 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 ruminating, and then getting rid of the waste and then getting up and doing it again. Instead of walking cumulus amounts of kilometers for their forage. So the poo, I'm expecting the number of the poo to come up or their wastage in the next 
couple of weeks. So that's good because that's adding that fertilizer back to the ground, which breaks down, gives you that free butt fertilizer in the ground. Also helps the worms, the, the beetles take it to the ground. And then the microbes pick all that wastage up and feed it to the plants and give that, you give that recovery, speedy, fast recovery. So yeah, that's him there side on guys. There is nothing sticking out of there at all. So I can see they've clearly lost condition since they've been at the other farm. They're at the other farm for a period of 63 days, which is exactly three cycles. So that gave them time to go to the bull. So what I'll do is I'll hold this video back and I'll bring them into this cell system now and I'll sell them through for the same period of time, roughly that 63 day period mark, which is, you know, two months. And then I'll play this video and I'll put the video once they've gone through the cell for 63 days and I'll load it up the following week. That way within the two week period you can see this video and compare it with the following week's video which will be 63 days later after grazing and we'll have a look then if they put their condition back on. Righto guys on that note it's starting to rain now so uh, I'm going to head to the house and have a coffee so have a good morning, have a terrific afternoon and an awesome evening guys wherever you're watching this from and we'll catch you later. Mm -hmm.